Hi there. My name is Jim Jasinski. I'm with Ohio State University, the Department of Extension, the Integrated Pest Management Program. It's a beautiful, breezy, sunny spring day here in Ohio, and that means gardening. People want to get out and garden. And in Ohio, we have lots of options. If you have a backyard with decent soil, you can plant your fruits and vegetables and flowers right in the soil. If you only have a patio or a balcony, you should be thinking about container planting. Lots of options for you there. If you have a backyard, but your soil is not great, think about building a raised bed. You can add the soil to it, and then again, grow your fruits and vegetables and flowers right in the raised bed. If you want to elevate that raised bed, kind of make it easier on your back and your knees, then that's something that we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to show you how to design and build an elevated raised bed, and talk about features that are going to help protect your plants in the spring and the fall, and protect it from insects, diseases, and weeds. So if that sounds interesting, stick around, and we'll go ahead and go through that process. So this is an elevated raised bed. This is a project I built four or five years ago using traditional lumber, and it's starting to break down now a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it, upgrade it with some treated lumber, and hopefully it'll last five to 10 years. As you can see, it's basically a raised bed, a three by four raised bed, that's been elevated off the ground using these four by fours. Now the reason to do that is so when you're working in the bed, it's at a much more comfortable height. You don't have to worry about bending over, hurting your back or your knees. If you want to make this ADA compliant, it needs to be between 27 and 34 inches tall. In addition to upgrading the lumber so it lasts longer, we're going to build a protective structure over the top of this for a couple of reasons. One is for frost and freeze protection in both the spring and the fall. That's going to allow us to grow plants a little bit longer. And two, when that cover's in place, we're going to try to prevent insects from getting to the crop, doing any damage or diseases or weeds from establishing. So multiple benefits from using the row cover structure. We've just come inside from the backyard where we saw an example of what we're trying to build. Here in front of you are all the tools and supplies that you'll need to build that project. On the far side, a circular saw or a chop saw if you have one, a stapler, a drill, a couple clamps, tin snips, ruler, some hinges, a T-square, some safety glasses, some drill bits, some screws, some gloves if you want them. In terms of the supplies, we're going to be thinking about two 10-foot pieces of half-inch PEX tubing. This will be forming uh, the hoops that will cover our structure when we're done. The half-inch hardware cloth, some premium landscape fabric or weed barrier. The white material there, that's actually the row cover. That's going to actually uh, give us the frost and freeze protection we've been talking about, as well as exclude some of those insects, diseases, and weeds. In terms of the wood, we've got some uh, furring strips back here. We've got just some plain decking boards treated, one by six. Uh, we've got some two by two pieces of wood, and we've got some four by four pieces as well. Those will be the posts that support the raised bed. The last thing every good project needs is a blueprint. So grab your paper, grab your pencil, watch this animation. You'll have a better idea of what we're trying to accomplish by the end of this project. Now here's a quick sketch of our elevated raised bed project. First, we're going to sketch out the raised bed part. When we're finished, it's going to be about four and a half feet long, about three and a half feet wide, and about a foot and a half tall. Next, we're going to go ahead and put legs on it. That makes it elevated. And then we're throwing throw in our soil and maybe a few plants. Next, we're going to go ahead and put some hoops on there that will support the row covers. The row covers are going to be able to keep insect pests from getting to the crop, keep some diseases off the plants, and maybe even keep some weed seeds from landing in the soil and germinating. It's also going to give us some frost and freeze protection in the spring and the fall. We may need to take the row covers off when the temperatures come up or if we have plants that need to be pollinated. What we're left with when this project is completed are a couple of happy gardeners. Interested in building this project? Stay tuned for our second video on how to construct an elevated raised bed.